I make videos where I value a stock, and in order to value a stock, I use an Excel model. And in my Excel model is a calculation for the compound annual growth rate. Not only is this boring, but it is also confusing. That gives me a compound annual growth rate. And when you search on YouTube for an explanation, there are a lot of either long videos or videos that go like this. Right? Then we're gonna raise the result to an exponent. So what exactly is compound annual growth rate? Compound annual growth rate, also known as CAGR, is used in business scenarios or for describing the growth of something. The literal definition is, compound annual growth rate CAGR is a business and investing specific term for the geometric progression ratio that provides a constant rate of return over the time period. And the formula is, which neither of these help you understand the concept any better. So now I'm going to slow it down just a little bit and teach you a simple explanation of compound annual growth rate. So imagine you had a company that had $100 in sales, and then five years later, they had $200 in sales. So just guessing, what do you think the compound annual growth rate would be going from 100 to 200 over five years? A pretty good guess would be something like 20%. 100 times 0.2, is equal to 20 over five years, 20 times five is equal to 100, you doubled your money over five years, the growth rate is 20%. That's not actually correct, as you'll see, it's going to be 14.87%. So, why is it 14.87%? Also, if it were to be 20%, what would be the final number that you got after five years? Well, that would be like 249. So why is 20% growth per year not going to end up giving you 200? Okay, so again, we have the company, it has 100 in sales, it's going to 200 in sales over five years. So here's the time frame, and that is five years. In theory, if it was an exponential graph, you could say that the, the graph looks something like this, where it starts at 100 right here, at the beginning, and it ends at 200 right here as well. So what the compound growth rate would be is the steady rate of return over this time period. The compound annual growth rate is going to be the rate of return that is a steady progression over time. What is very important to understand about this is that the compound annual growth rate takes out the variance of the sales. Now let me show you what I mean by that. So this graph could technically look like this. In year one you had 100, then it went down to like 80 or 70, then went back, went back up to like 110, then it went down to 100, then it went to 140, then it went to 200. So it could look like something like that. Or the graph could go down, up, down, up, down, all the way up. Or the graph could go up, it could go down, it could go up, it could go down, it could go up. The graph could legit go up, it could go down, it could go all the way up from there. So all of these graphs can look differently. So the compound annual growth rate takes out all the different variants within that growth. So it comes up with a number that is the steady rate of return. So for our example, that is 14.87. And the reason is, is it compounds over time. So the compound annual growth rate is a way of calculating that steady rate of return over time. And if this is confusing, let me dive into the Excel model for you some more. So let's just assume that in the future it's going to grow at 10%. 10%. So the first year you know it's going to be 100 times 1.1, which is equal to 110. But in year two, instead of it being another 10, it's actually going to be 11, because 110 times 10% is 11. So the growth of the year one is then going to be compounded by the same growth rate, which is 10%, going into year two. And then in the third year, it's going to be compounded again into 133. And then if you take 10% of 133, that's going to be 13. It's going to get you to 146, et cetera, et cetera. So going back to the original example, how do you get from 100 to 200? It's going to be at 14.87. And so you're going to go from 100 and after it's going, your first year, you're going to have 114.87, it's going to compound, and then at the end, you're going to get to 200. So when I use compound annual growth rate in my models, I am using this metric right here, and this is how it's calculated, and this is how it's explained. 